Namaste and peace and blessings. I'd like to thank you for joining me in this prenatal yoga flow. I ask that we use this time to gather any supplies that we feel we may need today in our session. Maybe a long bolster pillow or a big pillow. Maybe a yoga block, if that feels good. Or a yoga strap. And I'm going to take a moment to grab my long bolster pillow. And if you feel as though you may need anything for, for your session here today, please feel free to grab it including something to drink, meaning some water or something like that to stay hydrated with. We can even light a candle, start our diffuser, draw the lights, whatever we feel we need to go inward and have a nice and relaxing prenatal yoga flow. So I'm just going to grab my bolster pillow. I'll see you in a second. Okay, I have my bolster pillow here just in case we need it today. So now we are all set. <sighs> As we are finding our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, I am sitting in a half lotus with our buttocks connected to the earth, spinal cords nice and long. We are not sunken down. We wanna be nice and straight. When we keep our back straight, we create that extra space in our tummy for baby, ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. As we take a nice subtle breath, exhale. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes, if that feels good for us. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. And may we relax and go inward in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we place our hand on the tops of our bellies or the lower parts of our bellies, whatever feels good for you, we are taking this time to simply check in with baby to check in with body, seeing how we feel in this moment. Showing our growing fetus showing the growing fetus inside some love, attention, affection, or maybe we are a manifesting baby. Placing our healing palms on our tummies as we manifest baby to be. Whatever it may be, four more breaths of silent meditation. Two breaths. As we bring our arms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, shoulders flowing up towards the ears, bodies getting nice and elongated here. Chin slightly up, heart chakras open. Feeling that stretch as we allow our arms to slightly flow to the back. This is a slight back bend. Three breaths. Exhale into center, coming back to that salute. As we breathe our palms, separating our palms, coming into that seated extended mountain, we're going to hang out here. And we are channeling in hope, positivity, inspiration, and what we feel we need within our practice here today. We are channeling in positive vibes and positive energies. With our heart chakra open and our chin slightly up, three more breaths. Two breaths. As our fingertips flow down towards our shoulders, and we're going to do a couple of shoulder shrugs, rolling our shoulders towards the back, towards the back, lifting our shoulders up towards our ears and rotating them backwards. Shoulder shrugs. Three breaths, two breaths, finding our pause, and we're going to rotate our shoulders in the opposite direction. 
Two more breaths. Finding our pause, we're going to breathe our palms back above our heads and our salute. Chin is up. Exhale a prayer. Breathing our palms at heart center. Shoulders relax downward away from our ears. We're going to hang out here and simply check in with body, mind, and soul for four breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow our bodies into a diamond or a butterfly position, we're going to bound our feet together. And our butterfly and our diamond, as you can see, we are creating this extra space here for baby. So this pose is a nice pose to sit and relax in, especially if we have a big belly. But of course, it's a lovely pose anyway, and regardless, because it prepares our hips and our body for labor. This, this bound position, diamond or butterfly, is a hip opener. And if we choose, we can slightly hinge our bodies at the hips just a little. We don't want to go down too deep. We don't want to crush baby. So simply going down just a little. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, we can feel it in our hip flexors. We're going to hang here, gazing forward, eyes gaze down or closed, four breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back up into our diamond or our butterfly. We're going to find our bodies just relaxing and soothing here. As we open up that heart chakra and lifting our chin slightly up and allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades, flowing into a seated cow. Two more breaths. Exhale into cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes slightly towards the back. We don't want to go in too deep in the cat, especially if we have a big belly because we don't want to squish baby. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, come into that diamond or that butterfly as we place our palms on our tummies. Simply just taking a moment to check in, seeing how we feel within our bodies here. Two more breaths. As we straighten our legs out in front of us, coming into a staff pose, if we have smaller bellies or maybe coming into a wide-legged staff, if we have bigger bellies, because we always want to create that extra space that we don't want to cause any discomfort to ourselves or to baby. So coming into that staff or widening our legs, if that feels good. And we're going to simply just hang out here in our staff and we're going to slightly hinge at the hips just a little. And we are working on our, our pelvic bone here today. We are working on opening up our hip flexors here today. Simply just prepping and preparing our body for labor. So we're going to slightly hinge, noticing how this feels. And we want to ensure, maybe we can ensure that we don't over stretch. Keeping in mind that when we are pregnant, our bodies are extra flexible, more flexible than normal. So maybe listening to your body and not overextending. Three more breaths as we are hinging at the hips. Two breaths. Lowing back up. If we're in our staff pose, we're going to widen our legs coming into a wide-legged. And we're going to bring our right hand to our right toes. And we're going to feel that side stretch. So we are wide-legged, right hand to right toe. We are feeling that side stretch. If we can't go down that deep, we can take our right hand to our knee or our lower leg. Whatever feels best for you. We're going to lean our bodies as much as we comfortably can. Simply seeing how this feels. Stretching and lengthening. Three more breaths. Two breaths. 
exhale into center as we connect our left hand to our left toes or our left lower parts of our leg. Whatever feels good as we lean our body slightly towards the left. Feeling this stretch here on the sides of our bodies, ensuring that we're not going down too deep or causing any pain to mom or baby. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We are still in that wide legged and we're gonna take our right and our left hand and reach them down to our ankles or the lower parts of our legs as we slightly hinge forward, just a little. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling our bodies back up. We're gonna bring our legs together, bringing our knees together, finding our bodies in a tabletop pose. We are on our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to our cat, going back to our table, and we're going to work on balancing our bodies. We're going to take our right leg and bring it towards the back and lower our right toes downward towards the earth. As we extend that left arm forward, we are we can lift our right toes off the earth if that feels good for us. Or we can keep our toes lowered downward towards the earth. We just want to ensure that we have balance and strength within our bodies here. As we are gaze forward, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back the table. Drop into cow. Exhale a cat. Going back to table, as we take that left leg, bring it towards the back, left toes flow downward towards the earth here. And if all feels well, we're going to extend that right arm forward as we are gaze forward, feeling our bodies relax and soothe here. We're going to hang out here, strengthening and balancing here. Three breaths. Lifting those toes up from the earth if that feels good or keeping the toes down, we wanna ensure that we're not getting dizzy. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to table, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Lower to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we're in a wide-legged down dog if we have big tummy. Whatever feels good for you. As we walk our dog, pedal on our feet left and right. We're gonna find our pause. We're gonna lift our right leg in the air nice and high. Feeling that stretch. Gazing back at the feet. Exhaling that right leg downward towards the earth. As we breathe that left leg in the heavens, three-legged dog opposite side. Gazing back at the foot. Exhaling that leg back down, down dog. As we pedal our feet, walking our dog. Finding our pause. We're gonna walk our hands towards our feet, coming into a complete forward fold. Or maybe we're in a wide-legged forward fold if we have big bellies. And if we are bigger, maybe we can come into a half forward fold. And sometimes when we flow into that complete forward fold, we get dizzy. So we wanna always check in and see how we feel. And if there's any dizziness, may we pause or flow into a position that feels best for you and your body. My voice is just a guide here, listening to what feels best for you. So a complete forward fold or a half forward fold for four breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Exhale into half. 
as we breathe up to our mountain pose, our Tadasana. Palms are at our side. As we pedal our feet, moving our legs left and right, simply just checking in, seeing how we feel here in our hips. As we find our pause, we're gonna breathe our palms up to our salute, feeling that stretch. Chin slightly up. Exhale to prayer. Flowing back to salute, feeling a circular rotation here. Exhale to prayer. Breathing to salute. Exhale to prayer. Relaxing and soothing. As we bring our feet slightly apart if they were not already, we're gonna flow on down to a chair pose. And if we have big bellies, we wanna always give that extra space for baby here. So we are not chair pose, we are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. And maybe we can slightly pulse it up and down if that feels good. Noticing how we build more strength in our legs. Just two more breaths. Finding our pause. We're gonna flow to a half forward fold. <sighs> Noticing how this feels. Four breaths. Two breaths. As we bend our knees, coming back into that chair pose. Maybe we're in our prayer hand chair. Maybe our arms are extended in front of us. Whatever we choose, to your pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, half forward fold. Relaxing the body, soothing the body. Breathing back up to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, palms are at our side. Hanging out here, standing strong. Our feet are planted into the earth. Our crown chakra, our head is connected to the universe as we are ascending, as we are growing, and as we are becoming new things. And as we grow and learn and achieve, may we always be grounded and rooted. Hence, our feet connected to the earth, grounding, centering, rooting, always knowing where we are, being solid in who we are. But at the same time, flowing into our salute, we are ascending. Growing deeper, growing stronger, becoming more. Chin slightly up. Heart chakra is open. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to prayer. As we widen our legs, nice wide-legged prayer hands. As we breathe our palms back up to the side, we're flowing into a standing star. Palms are off to the side. Heart chakra is open. Chin is slightly up. Three more breaths. Flowing down to our goddess, bending our knees. We can be in our cactus hands if that feels good for us. This goddess pose helps prepare the body for labor as we are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies here. Goddess stance, two more breaths. Exhaling back up to star, straightening out those legs, palms come to the side. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back down to our goddess, bending our knees, preparing our bodies for labor, building strength here. Two more breaths. Pulsing it up and down. Going a little extra here, two more breaths. Coming out if we need. Finding our pause, coming back up to that star. Straightening out those legs, arms are off to the side. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Flow into our salute, palms above our heads. Exhale to prayer. Coming to that half forward fold. We are wide legged here. Two more breaths. Feeling that stretch behind our legs and our hamstring. 
as we reach our left hand to our left leg. We're gonna wrap this right arm around our backs. And we're gonna slightly gaze over our right shoulder, feeling this stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale at the center. Half forward fold. As we breathe, our right hand to our left lower leg. We're gonna take this left arm, wrap it around our backs, and we're gonna gaze over that left shoulder, feeling this twist. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to center, come into the half forward fold. As we walk our hands forward, we're gonna flow into a down dog, breathing our legs together or slightly together if we have big tummies. As we walk our dog, pedaling our feet left and right. Gazing back at our feet, three breaths. Finding, finding our paws, shifting our body slightly forward, coming into a high plank, dropping down to our knees if we must, or flowing into a low plank. Whatever you choose, two breaths. Exhale, back down dog. Drop into our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, whatever feels good for you. Our heart chakra melts between our heart chakra flows downward towards the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. With our arms extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth, child's pose, puppy pose, five breaths. Allowing our torso to relax forward and to the earth. As we breathe in, exhale. Three more breaths. In our extended child's pose, puppy pose, palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna use our palms to push our bodies forward with our spinal waving. Using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. We're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose, puppy pose. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we're gonna come back to that table, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we breathe, our right arm up in the air, feeling that stretch, breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm threads through the left, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, relaxing and soothing here. And if we choose, we can take this left arm and wrap it around our backs. Or extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Thread the needle, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, if it was wrapped, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we drop down to cow, exhale to cat, flowing back to table. As we take that left arm and breathe it up towards the heavens, fingertips reaches the ceiling, gazing up at our fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes down. As we are relaxing and soothing here, heart chakra melts into the yoga mat. Eyes are closed, the gaze down. And if we choose, we can wrap this left arm around our backs. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, whatever you choose. Four breaths.
Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we push our bodies back up to that down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we find our pause, begin to bring our left foot to our left hand. We are in that runner's lunge. Maybe our body's off slightly towards the left. We don't want to crush baby, always creating that extra space. Whatever feels good for you. We're going to drop that left knee down. We are now in our low lunge. We're just going to simply hang out here in this low lunge with our torso melted forward towards our thigh. Or we can lift our bodies up, breathing our arms above our heads. Two breaths. Framing our front foot, taking that left leg, that left knee off the earth. We are back in the runner's lunge. Straightening that front leg, coming into our pyramid, relaxing the head over the thigh. Flowing back to runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog. Drop into our knees, flowing into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose. Four breaths. Using this child's pose, puppy pose to check in with body, to check in with baby, ensuring that all is well. With our eyes gazed down and closed, may we go inward, noticing how we feel with two more breaths. With our arms extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose, puppy pose. Finding our bodies back in our table, pushing our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our paws, we're going to breathe that left hand to left foot. <sighs> Lowering our right knee downward towards the earth. We are now in that runner's lunge. And we can hang out here if this feels good for us. Or we can breathe our torso away from our thigh, extending our arms up in the air, feeling that stretch. Two breaths. Framing that front foot. We are in that runner's lunge. I'm sorry, we are in that low lunge. As we lift that knee off the earth, now we are in our runner's lunge. Extending that front leg, flowing into a pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts downwards, three breaths. Two more breaths. Bending that front knee, exhaling, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking the hands, walking the feet, walking the feet towards the hands, complete forward fold. Maybe we are in a wide legged. Flow into a half forward. Breathing back down to a complete forward. If we're able, or we can stay in that half forward fold. Remember, listening to our own bodies here. Two more breaths. Flow into that half forward fold. Come into that Tadasana standing nice and tall, mountain pose. Breathing our palms up to our salute. Exhale to prayer. Hinging at the hips, coming to the half forward fold. Three breaths. As we flow to a complete forward fold, walking our hands forward, coming into a down dog, shifting our weight forward, flowing into a high plank, or dropping to our knees in our plank, 
or coming down to a low plank. Whatever feels good for you. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog. As we walk our feet towards our hands, flowing into a yogi squat. And in our yogi squat, we can use our yoga block if that feels good for us or squat in any position and way that feels good for you here. Our yogi squat, of course, is a nice, lovely pose that helps prep and prepare the body for labor. A lot of people give birth in a squatting position as well. So here in our yogi squat, may we bring our palms at heart center. Gazing down, if that feels good for us. And taking this time to think about our birth. Taking this time to think about our birthing plan and our labor and delivery. Simply just being mindful of what our body is going to go through and what we are going to experience. And for our body is a vessel for a new life to enter into this world. And here in our yogi squat, may we simply just hang out here for a couple breaths of silence, meditating, thinking, contemplating, welcoming what's to come. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow down to our buttocks, coming into a seated pose. Flowing into a bound position, bringing our feet together. We are back in that diamond or that butterfly. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. We're going to flow into a cow. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades. Exhale into cat. Chin comes to the clavicle. Flowing back to our bound position, either diamond or butterfly. Using our hands to bring our knees inward. We're going to come on to our side. <clears throat> and we're going to grab some pillows for our neck. And we're going to grab a pillow for between our thighs. And we're going to relax our mind and our bodies here in a fetal pose. And maybe we are already pregnant or maybe we are manifesting pregnancy. Hence, here in our fetal pose, we are laying like a fetus position, just like a baby in a mom's tummy. So we are relaxing and soothing as we place our top hand on our tummy. And we're going to close our eyes if that feels good for us. And we're going to take nice, subtle breaths, using the breath to relax, soothe, calm, and regulate. Simply being aware of how we feel and what's going on within without judgment. As we soothe and relax in our fetal pose for eight natural breaths. Palms on the belly, for we are manifesting, for we are showing love and affection to baby and tummy, for we are manifesting baby to be in tummy, whatever it may be, we are feeling relaxed and soothed, we are feeling like we are connected and one with the universe. We are feeling like all of our dreams, hopes, and desires are already manifesting and are already underway. We're simply just relaxing in fetal pose, waiting for what we want to manifest as the fetus is waiting to be born. 
beetle pose, going inward, five more breaths. Three more breaths. Slowly awakening our bodies from our fetal position. Using our top hand to push our bodies away from the earth. Removing our pillow. Finding our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find that position. Maybe we can wrap our bodies up if we feel a little chilly. I'm gonna place a pillow on my lap. It just feels comfortable. So maybe do whatever feels good for us here in our seated position. Maybe we can place our palms on our tummies if that feels good for us. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Spinal cord is nice and long, meaning our back is not sunken. Maybe, maybe we can keep in mind when we are out and about and throughout our days to keep our spinal cords nice and long because it helps with our posture. It helps with lower back pain. And it also creates that extra space and belly for the baby. So nice, long posture with our palms on our tummies. Or we can bring our palms at heart center if that feels good for us. Maybe take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice our prenatal yoga session here today. Maybe during our sessions, we felt the baby kick a couple times. Mm -hmm. Loving and adoring whatever comes and goes during our sessions. Maybe the baby's too small and we can't feel kicks yet. Maybe the baby's resting. Or maybe the baby isn't in tummy yet, but it's is coming. Whatever it may be. I hope that we was able to notice and feel and I hope that we are becoming more mindful of what is going on within us, within our bodies. Simply being aware, simply feeling, and simply listening to our bodies. Feeling what our bodies tell us that we need and what we want. Listening to our bodies. Feeling and believing what our body tells us that we need and what we want. Trusting the process and trusting us and trusting nature and the universe. I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. It truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Bringing our palms to your heart center if that feels good for you. Thank you so much. Take care of your mind. Take care of your body. Take care of your baby. Peace and blessing. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.